hey what's going on everybody welcome back to another fortnite android video and today in this video guys i will show you how you can get 60 fps in fortnite android so without any further ado let's get right into the video so this video is obviously about the mod apk method and honestly the steps are still the same also i've made a video on this few months ago and don't get me wrong the process is exactly the same but why i'm making this video right now is because most of you guys are still asking for it so here is the updated how to install the mod apk tutorial with some few minor tweaks also i'll be updating the title and the description of this video as soon as the new update arrives so this video will be the only video on this channel about the 60 fps tutorial throughout the course of season 7 i'm doing this because i really don't want to confuse you guys with the same type of content over and over just for views and that's pretty much it for the intro now let's get straight into the tutorial so again all the credit to this mod apk goes to nbz games he is the one doing the hard work and he definitely should get all the credits so what i've done is i've left his video link in the pinned comment of this video so you guys want to go into his video and then download the two mod apks from his pinned comment and also while you're in there make sure you guys leave a comment saying that you came from this video because that way he'll know that we're there to support his channel and not to steal his views so yeah i'll be waiting for the next five seconds and i hope you guys come back with the two mod apks and the timer starts now okay so i hope you guys are back with the two apks and now without wasting any more time let's get straight into the tutorial so first of all you guys want to make sure that you have downloaded the two mod apks and also make sure that you have updated the game to its latest version and now you simply want to open the file manager of your phone any kind of file manager will work but if you guys want me to suggest one then i suggest you guys to use the mix file explorer i've been using this file explorer for more than a year now and it's working great also if you guys want to check it out then the link to download the mix file explorer will be in the description of this video okay so now on to the main topic so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your file manager and then go into the android folder then data folder and then you want to scroll down and find a folder named com.epigames.fortnite now you simply want to rename it and add 1, 2 and 3 at the end and then simply press ok so what we did right now is we just kept the backup of our previous data so you'll not have to re-download it again now you want to go back and simply uninstall fortnite ok after you've uninstalled fortnite then you simply want to go into your file manager again and then locate the place where you've downloaded the two files most probably it will be in your downloads folder but for me i've kept it in a different folder just to make it easier after you've located the two files simply install the apk1 and after the apk1 has been installed don't open it right away this is the most important part of this tutorial because if you open the game right away then you again have to re-download the whole data so make sure you just press done now again you want to go into the android folder, data folder and then remove the 1, 2, 3 from com.epicgames.fortnite folder. Now press ok then go back and open fortnite. So now you again have to log into your account. And while we're waiting for the game to load up, I really want to thank you guys so much for all your support. Now we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and almost 90% of you guys watching my videos are unsubbed. So I think we can do it guys. If you'll end up liking this video and still aren't subscribed to the channel, then please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It's literally free and it helps me out a lot. After we've loaded into the game, go into the settings and set your frame rate to 60. Now you can choose whichever quality preset you like. I'll recommend you guys to play on low. You can also customize the 3D resolution. Now press apply. Now you want to go to the home screen and simply remove Fortnite from the background. Then again go into the file manager, look at the place where you've downloaded the second APK and then install the APK2. Now you want to open Fortnite. And again while we're waiting, I want to say thank you so much to Spidey for these awesome gifts. Thank you so much bro, I really appreciate it. Especially that pickaxe, I'm in love with it. 
So yeah, thank you so much once again. So now after we've loaded into the game, go into the settings and check whether there is the option written in the mobile primary section or not. If yes, then congratulations, you did it all correctly. And if not, uh, then unfortunately, you again have to repeat the steps. But that's really unlikely to happen because this APK is made perfectly for the supported devices. But unfortunately for the unsupported devices, the APK2 will not be installed and hence you can't play Fortnite. So keep that in mind. Now let's hop into a creative match and let's check how the 60 FPS looks like. And yeah, the frame rates are looking consistent. And by the way, if some of you are confused on why I've got 71 FPS, then I've actually overclocked my phone's display to 71 Hz. And obviously, we need to root our phone for that. And if you want to know more about how I got 71 FPS in Fortnite, then I've made a video about that already. Check out the video in the i button above. And if you want to know more about rooting, then there's a video for that too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any confusion, then feel free to ask me in the comments. Or if you want to be more in touch with the community, then feel free to join the Fortnite Android Community Discord server. The link is in the description. It's the biggest Fortnite Android community in the internet, so I highly recommend you to join that. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if yes, then you know what to do. And for now, enjoy this awesome Victory Royal gameplay. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.